Back for more BVR to WVR transition training here. Uh, my hope here is to show that um, as a human Wizzo, you can do things that Jester certainly can't do. I know we've shown that before. But uh, first of which is to hop in the back seat and just bump the gain up a little bit. The fine gain control. Play with the antenna a little bit. And antenna up, antenna back down. All around center. I think I resolved the contact there for a second. There it is. So Jester just kind of refuses to play with the gain in ways that will five degrees, thirty-six miles, thirty-one thousand. Resolve these Captain contacts Dad. nicely. All right, we're all fenced in. Sparrow interlink is out. Let's send our wingman home. I want to make this a 1v2. Yep, you got it. Okay, our altitude's 23,000. Let's go to the back seat one more time. Bump the gain up. A lot. There it is. Back to the front seat. Come on, Jester. There we go. So he has trouble playing with the gain in ways that will okay. allow him to track these guys sometimes. Ice 5 degrees, 23 miles, 25,000. There we go, yep, 25,000. He has our antenna elevation ticked slightly above center, so I could believe that they're basically co-altitude or slightly higher than us. Now if we go back to the backseat one more time and move the antenna elevation up, you can see that the leader is higher, down, trailer is lower. So I want to follow the leader here with Jester and then pivot hard left after I fox on this guy once we're tally uh, and try and fox on the other guy before the merge with the fox horn. Okay, should be within visual range. Keep one eye on the RWR, make sure we're looking on the right azimuth here. Tally. We're in boar sight, so fox. Don't think that's tracking Fox again. Don't think that's... I think that second one track will do a third one. There we go, there we go. We Hard. have a fish bed, 12 o'clock, two miles. I just needed to get my eyes out this way and look for the second guy. I think we were he was too close. We've got a fish bed, 12 o'clock, two miles. Yeah, so he bracketed us pretty hard. There was no way to, to turn and engage him before the merge. And in Nails, the meantime, one o'clock. We've splashed the leader, so that's fantastic. I did ditch the tanks, and now it's just up to rate fighting a MIG at high altitude in a very heavy Phantom. Never a fun thing, I guess. My point here was to show that, you know, not only can you play with the gain in ways that Jester can't as a human wizzo or just jumping into the back seat, um, give yourself an edge. But you can also determine a lot about the altitude and azimuth split. I think these guys are split by 15 degrees if you look at the little tick marks at the bottom of your radar screen. Um, when they're approaching you, 15 one o'clock high, one o'clock high degree azimuth split, uh, split is, is quite a lot for when they're in pretty close formation or pretty close trail range. Uh, so. You know, one of them might be easily able to get the jump on you while you're focused on the second, which is, of course, why you'd want a two-ship for this. Come on, CAA. Splash him. 